Hello, hello, everyone. Let's see who joins us today. Let's see who's coming. Hello. I'll make a little, um, hello, everyone. How are you guys? How are you ladies? Let me just make a quick post. Hey, hey, Jessica. How are y'all? How's everyone? Just make a little live real quick. Hey, girl, where y'all from? Come post where you're um where y'all coming from? I see Nova Scotia, Canada. Let me just make a little. Hey, everyone, we are live right now on YouTube. Swipe up to join the live. Oh, Los Angeles, Jamaica. Are y'all, is anyone else getting snow like we are? So I'm in Philly, just in case y'all want to know. It is snowing. I mean, it's hot, like snowing hard right now, like a lot of snow. Jacksonville, nice, nice. New York, New York, nice. Y'all getting snow? I'm sure y'all getting snow too over there in New York. Oh, South Africa, yo, that's awesome. That's awesome. And let me post this. Let me put the little live link in the bio so I can share that. Cerritos, California. Nice. You're expecting 30 to 50 centimeters tonight here in Nova Scotia. Wow. Let me just post this. Okay. From London. What time is it? It's six hours difference. Right, it's seven thirty-four right now in London. Shannon says MSN gives me a headache. I drink alcohol and it works as a detox, even when I miss mix with oils. You mean? Oh, because you drink alcohol, girl. You got to make sure you get hydrated first. If you're gonna drink alcohol, make sure you are hydrated. Says, oh, Melissa says six thirty-four. We're going to test, discuss a little bit about that. Like last time we had our Emerson challenge, we ended up going on tangents of tangents, which was awesome. Like I really enjoyed the conversation. I hope you guys did too. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Oh, yeah, you're still a moderator, sweet lady. Thank you. <laughs> I got my sweater on because I ain't trying to be cold. Y'all, I'm always cold. I even got uh, sweats on underneath. <laughs> All right, here. Let's see. Um, Shannon, how much water are you drinking? How much alcohol are you drinking? <laughs> I get no headaches. Reese says I get no headaches, but maybe weird dreams. Yeah. Um, when are you taking the MSM powder? Are you taking it before bed? Are you like, how are you taking it? Shannon, I love your hair. It's so beautiful and your positive attitude. Thank you. Today I have it. I gotta like, I'm behind this bookshelf, so you can't really see. It's just in um just some twists pinned up real quick. You know, forever protective styling, y'all. Um, of course, you know, I'm about to, you know, mix my MSF for y'all. So let me know, let me know um, how your experiences have been going with the MSM powder. Um, y'all know I'm still using, still using this. Um, have you guys been using it throughout the week? Have you, um, I'm talking about externally throughout the week. Have you been using it in your sprays or in your oils? Let me know how you guys have been um, using it, what's been going on. Let's see here. Reed says, I take it in the morning, but maybe my dreams were weird before. Oh, yeah. My, <laughs> I take it in the morning. And sometimes if I don't drink enough water, I do get weird dreams. Um, they have, so far, there hasn't been any like nightmare type dreams, like sometimes I was getting but it, it really matters um, for me to make sure I'm drinking my water with it and like drinking more water. Like last night, you know, I had a couple drinks. I uh, went to uh, get some Mexican food and had, a, you know, some margaritas. You really have to hydrate, especially if you're drinking alcohol, right? Sorry, Let me shake this up real quick. So um, this week I went a little more and I didn't have any headaches. I even slacked off on the water and I still didn't experience any headaches. So that's wonderful. So this week in week three, we are still continuing with just the one eighth of a teaspoon. Um, if you feel comfortable to move up, you can. I'm still going trying to manage to make sure that I'm good. So I'm going to stick with that for this week here. Let me read some what some of y'all are saying. Um, 
I take it every night and mix it with vitamin C. And I drink loads of water throughout the day. Wonderful, Melissa. Have you been having any other side effects, Melissa? Any headaches or or anything? Let me just move this over here. I feel like it's really dark in here. <clears throat> um, Karen says, I'm using it in the oils. My hair is so dry this time of the year. I oil every day. Okay. Is it making your hair drier with um, just the oils or you're doing well with it? Just because I had some serious headaches. Oh no, Jess. How much now? How much water are you drinking, Jess? You drinking a lot of water with this? Um, and I always tell people if you're already dehydrated and you take the MSN powder, it can still make you feel kind of bad, you know? Um, Shannon says, I'm super hydrated and super healthy, but I drink beer daily. Okay. And you were saying, Shannon, I believe you said. It gives you a headache because, okay, because you drink alcohol. Okay. Are you taking it every day? Are you just taking the one eighth of a teaspoon as well, Shannon? Um, Shannon, take it with vitamin C. Vitamin C helps, right, with absorption. No side effects when I drink enough water, right? Melissa, yeah, same. I'm, I've been doing really good when I drink enough water, just like everyone else, you know? Um, I don't even take it internally. It's mixed with oils. Oh, wow. Okay. Have you tried, have you thought about switching to just taking it internally instead of with just like the topically with the oils? Sweet lady, I use in my leave-in scalp spray two times a week, then internally morning going well. Have to remember to, <laughs> have to remember my water. Yes, yes. No side effects. Okay, good, good, good. Drinking the water is the only thing, y'all. Y'all have to drink your water. Let me, let me start drinking some real quick. Okay. Um, Karen, I can't tell yet, but my scalp is dry. Okay. Um, I recommend, even if you're going to use the oil, which is fine, spraying a little bit of like water with, um, apple cider vinegar or, or aloes, actually thinking about aloe vera on it, like spray some water or something on your scalp periodically and not just the innocent spray. Um, just to help with the dry scalp. You know, I have a, a dry scalp spray that you can make, a DIY spray you can make and spray on your scalp as well. Um, this weather is just, it's really rough on our hair. Like it, it's that time of year and um, it's dry. I don't know if, like where you're at, but it's dry over here. Uh, Reed says, I do drink about 64 ounces. Was never one to drink water. I did one eight for four days, but plumped up to three scoops. Good for you. Oh, y'all moving quick. Now I uh, listen. I have I have had my bad experience. You know, I'm taking it real slow with this. Um, but if I don't drink a lot of water, the headaches are outrageous. Yes, yes, it it, it really can be crazy. Um, so make sure you're drinking your water every, every day. It's like no no days off. Like you can't say like, I'm going to drink it now. And then next week, I'm not going to drink it. Like, every, and the next day, I'm not going to drink it. You have to drink your water every day, especially when you're taking the NSM. And as you increase your dose, this is why I'm sticking with the one eighth for this week to make sure I'm good. I might add another second dose, but I'm not really going to start until the following week. I, you know, I really try to stick with this schedule so I don't get um, too many side effects. Um, Jessica says maybe not as much as I should. Yeah. Just like, you know, um, it might be helpful to just get those big containers that are like one gallon or, or half gallon containers and see how much you're actually drinking. Cause sometimes if you're like me, like you can get distracted. Like I try to like take out my water bottles for the day. So I know like, okay, I have to drink this many by the end of the day. Um, or if you have containers, you know, it's better to, you know, use containers so you can really manage how much water you're drinking and not kind of guessing at it, right? Um, I'm going to mispronounce your name. I'm so sorry. It's Mayelsand. Mayelsand. Um, doesn't mix with oil. No. So technically, um, MSM powder cannot dissolve into oils. Some people like to use it, again, because they prefer to just put it on their scalp. Focus on that. And it will kind of like dissipate in once you like sweat and stuff, but, um, no. So I, I prefer it in a spray and then I do have it in an oil as well. And I've also been using it in my mask. So last week I did my wash day and I added it to my, my mask treatments and everything. Okay. So Karen or catching is it okay to take capsules? I hate the tea after taste of powder. Um, so you can take a capsule. Just note that there are fillers within the capsules. 
So if you want a more pure, the purest form, as everyone will tell you, is technically like the, the actual flakes and crystals. Um, but capsules have fillers in them. So if that's all you can find, like, or you don't like the taste of the powder, um, you can take the, the capsules. But you don't have to just take the, no, you don't have to take the cap, um, the powder just in water. You can take it in juice. You could take it in a smoothie. So if you don't like the taste, you don't have to drink it how, how I am. Actually, I'm drinking mine, I told you with right now with my BCAAs. These are branch chain amino acids and it has a flavor to it. So I actually don't taste the MSM powder. Uh, Shirley, mix in my alma oil mixture three times a week and two scoops of MSM in the morning. I drink tons of water, no side effects. That's wonderful. Wonderful. My doctor says I don't vitamins. I'm not deficient. Hair grows super long and extremely healthy. I was just trying to follow the trend truthfully. Oh, it's fine, Shannon. Look, I would say like not everything's for everybody. If it works for you, more power to you. If it doesn't, it's okay. Like totally fine. Um, I feel like my hair grows up to a certain point. Is this even possible? So there is a thing called terminal terminal length, right? Um, I will say this: most people their terminal length. Okay, so let's. I'm gonna just break this down a little bit. Your hair grows on average four to six inches every year, okay? For someone who's healthy and their hair is growing. You don't have any vitamin deficiencies or hormonal deficiencies or any of that, okay? Hair grows on average four to six inches a year. Um, most people's life cycle of their hair growth cycle is between, I think it was like five years, four to five years. So you have the potential to grow, even if you're on the lower end, let's say you only grow four inches a year and you have a life cycle of four years. Um, you should still be able to have 16 inches of hair. So when you say I only can grow to a certain length, are you talking about shoulder length or are you talking about like down your back length, like waist length or or hip length, right? Now, some people, again, some people have um, can grow the full six inches a year and they are on the higher end of the, of the hair growth cycle. Maybe they're six inches so they can grow 36 inches in their total hair growth cycle. So it all depends on you do. Have, everybody has a terminal length um, that's predetermined by genetics. And, um, yeah, but if you're finding like you're at ear length or neck length and you, your hair won't grow past that, that is attributed more towards breakage than your hair is not growing past that. So that's something you want to reassess when you're looking at, you know, the things you're doing, how often you're moisturizing and conditioning your hair. Um, hello, hello. Just signing on. Kale Shelford, Shelford. Sorry for, I pronounce, mispronounce your names. Um, Yolanda says, how many grams do Emerson go in a tea spray and a deep conditioner? So Yolanda, we are, um, starting out with, so I said about 5%. So just for reference, like, because I don't know how much is in your tea spray or how much is in your deep conditioner. Uh, if, if you have about a hundred grams of a product, you would add five grams. And we learned that one eighth of a scoop of, of these things here, this one eighth spoon is one gram. Okay. So I don't know if that's helpful or not, depending on like how much deep conditioner do you have left? Do you know what I mean? Like how much in a tea spray, like four ounces, I believe on the video I did four ounces. Let me look, let me look at that video real quick. Cause you're, you're going to make me wonder. Cause I don't remember off the top of my head anymore. Um, did I say? Okay, here. So in a four ounce spray, we used five grams of the MSM powder. Okay, so that was five scoops of the powder in four ounces. All right, so if you were to do eight ounces, you could use 10 grams of MSM powder. Um, hi, Nicole. Hello, Queen. What is Amla? Amla is a Ayurvedic herb. It is actually um, a fruit technically, and it's dried and you crush that and you can use it as um, Amla powder. You could use it in an oil. You could drink the juice of Amla. You can eat it, eat the fruit. Um, it's rich in vitamin C. And that's why a lot of people are taking Amla powder with their um, MSM powder because it has a high percentage of vitamin C in it. Shannon Armstrong also bought it pre-mixed in an oil from another YouTuber. Therefore, I'm not 
I'm not sure how much is added. Crazy, right? Yeah, yeah. There's nothing wrong with buying from other people, but yeah, try to, if you could find out how much, right? People don't, people don't know how to use it all the time. People just say, oh, just add it to an oil. And everybody's like, well, how much do I add? Like what, you know, how am I supposed to know? Um, but when I looked up the research on it, it says you can use this between two to 12% into your hair care mixtures. So I opted for 5%. Um, I feel like that's a safe amount going forward, starting something. Um, but you could go up to 10 or 12. But um, if someone doesn't know that and they're just like, I'm going to add five scoops or 10 scoops to a spray or a mix or a mask, and you're just guesstimating how much you don't really know, right? So it's just something that, I, you know, I'm always like, <laughs> I like to DIY so I know what I'm doing, how much I'm using, how much I'm putting in. Okay. Well, joining the challenge. Wonderful. The first round I took it, it was amazing. The, this round, it responded terribly. Maybe have been using too much. Um, Kalia, Kalia, I'm sorry. How much are you taking this, this time around? Are you also are you using the same brand? Are you using crystals or using powder? Um, that also is going to determine how your body's responding to it. How hydrated are you? Are you taking it with vitamin C? Those are just some questions you probably should ask yourself. Uh, Tanya says, how long is the shelf life when it's in the spray or oils? So I always, in the sprays, I always add preservatives to mine. So if you want to know the video I'm talking about, I'm going to link that in the chat for you guys, okay? Um, and I show you how to make the MSN spray with the oils in it. So that way you can um, have the spray for the entire time that you're, you know, using this MSN hair challenge. Let me go to my channel real quick. videos. Where are we here? In this video here. You know, YouTube doesn't make things always easy when you're like on live. <laughs> you just be clicking through stuff, let me tell you. Okay, I think it was this one here. Okay, um, once my computer decides it wants to load, it will come to the chat. My computer's being slow right now. Okay, there we go. Um, with the oils, it depends on the oils you use, um, but most oils have a shelf life of six months to a year. So you can use it in your oils up to that time, but it depends on the shelf life of the oils that you used. Uh, hi everyone. Thanks so much for all the amazing tips and knowledge. I'm so thankful for you being here and glad you can find this helpful. Um, Kenny, I took a MSN break today internally. I was up to one teaspoon per day. I think it was drying me out because I was starting to drink one gallon of water a day and was still thirsty. Hair is going nicely though. Wonderful. Yeah. It can be a lot. If you're in, if you already increased it that quickly, your body can be like, oh, it's a lot to take in. You know, like I said, the recommend the recommended dose, even on this, is three one eighth teaspoon. So three eighths of a teaspoon. It's not even a full teaspoon. So, yeah, it can be, it can be a lot. It really can. Oh, okay. <laughs> so says hi, I invaded a chick hair stream. All right. <laughs> is there a particular brand that you recommend? Um. So right now I'm we're. I'm recommending Doctor's Best. I haven't had any um, bad side effects with it, but a few um, few in the chat last week mentioned about using the actual um, crystals or the flakes that are more pure and they're not having any side effects. Once I get that information from them again, I will put it in the description box afterwards because I don't remember off the top of my head um, what brand they said they were using, but yeah. What happens when you stop taking MSN? Do you lose some of the growth? Um, so, I mean, it's a really good question. You don't lose any of the growth. Like, your hair is not going to stop growing because you stop taking MSN powder. So, okay, it's like multiple things are happening here. So, if you're deficient in MSM, right, in that sulfur, your body's not, you're not getting enough in your diet, X, Y, and Z, you're going to, like, increase, like this is, it's like if you're deficient in a vitamin and all of a sudden you start taking the vitamin and your hair is like, yay, I'm finally getting the vitamin I need. Okay. So then your hair is like happy and healthy. 
But let's say you're someone who's not necessarily deficient in it, right? Like a lot of us might not be deficient in it. Um, and that's, like I said, extending the hair growth cycle. It's also causing, you know, stronger, healthier hair. Your hair will probably just go back to how it normally was before you started taking it. Now, if you're so, like uh, deficient in, in sulfur powder, yeah, your hair could take a hit the same way if I was, you know, like I have iron anemia and I stopped taking my iron pills, I, I'm, my hair is going to take a hit from it, right? So it it all depends. It all depends on, like I said, this can help extend your hair growth cycle, the antigen phase, the growing phase. So um, when you stop taking it, it probably won't extend that past, you know, it'll be back to maybe your normal hair growth cycle. Like I said, a lot of this stuff is not fully fledged out in research. This is stuff that as YouTubers or as natural people have been taking this, have noticed these particular things with it. But when I stopped taking it the first time, I didn't, my hair wasn't breaking. I didn't have any like detrimental effects from it. My hair went back to its normal um, growth cycle. Uh, oh, I scrolled up too far. Um, general question. My hair still gets really dry, especially wash day. What do you suggest to moisturize my hair? 4C and high porosity. Um, when you say your hair still gets dry, like right after wash day, like you wash your hair and your hair gets automatically dry after that. I mean, that just tells me you need, you're right. You need a whole new uh, set of uh, ingredients. What brands are you using? I'm going to obviously I'm going to recommend my brand. I'm going to be like, yes, you should get my products. I definitely have an entire line that works well with high porosity and low porosity hair. Um, it's infused with Ayurvedic herbs. It's thick, it's conditioning, it's moisturizing, but it's really about developing a routine. I don't know how often you're washing your hair. How often are you moisturizing your hair? How often are you sealing your hair? You have high porosity hair, which tells me that you lose moisture very quickly. So are you sealing your hair with butters and oils? Um, the deep conditioners, are you looking at stuff that can, um, that is hydrating ingredients in it? We talked about like glycerin and panthenol, um, film forming humectant, stuff that can help like lock in the moisture. Um, that can be a really loaded question. I can recommend a bunch of products to you, um, but it's about also you're developing your technique and developing your regimen. Are you doing the LOC method or LCO method? And how often are you doing it? We're also in the winter time. And as someone, I have low porosity hair, you know, but still as someone who has low porosity hair in the winter, all of a sudden my hair is a bit drier than normal. So I have to take extra steps to make sure my moisture levels are up. So maybe for me, with, before I could maybe moisturize my hair once or twice a week, now I'm doing it three times a week. For you, you may need to do it every day to get your moisture up to a point where it's good. Now for me, of course, I recommend, if nothing else, my deep conditioner. It is thick, creamy, but very hydrating and moisturizing. But again, what are you doing after that step? You know, I have that leave-in, I have the twist cream, I have a butter, but you really can figure out like, you know, figure out your 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 regimen first before you just go out and buy some other products or buy new products because if you're not using them properly, it's not going to work. Esther says, "Should we use only one spoon of MSN on on our oil, and can I use it every day?" So you're talking about one teaspoon or one one of these spoons, like what type? So you can use MSN powder every day. We're drinking right now, Esther. We're drinking it in our um, teas or smoothies or however every single day. You can definitely use this in your oil every day. Um, but when you say spoon, do you mean one of these spoons? Are you talking about a teaspoon? Are you talking about a tablespoon? Um, that could be a really loaded question there. Hope everyone is well too. Let me see here. Hold up real quick. Okay, good, 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 good. Um, you need, Shannon says you need to start classes. I would love, I would really love to do that actually. Um, the classes, I just saw someone gave me a super chat. Thank you guys so much. Oh my goodness. Thank you. See ya. <laughs> she said, I'm not even using MSM and vitamin C powder consistently, consistently and my hair is growing a lot faster. I only use it topically. Yay. Thank you so much for the super chat. I really appreciate that. All right. Um, let me just, Scroll back. Uh, Kalia or Kalia says, I'm using crystals, was taking with a lot of water, and will start taking with vitamin C. Thanks so much. You're welcome. I was probably taking a full scoop of the scooper you showed and diluting with 32 ounces of water. Is that too much, MSM? Nope, that's a good dose. Um, you're using that one eighth scoop you said? Yeah, that's perfect to start off with. 
um, you're doing well and drink your water with it and vitamin C you should be good. Okay. I've been doing the MSN challenge since you started. I've actually added collagen powder into my regimen with my oils and spray. Is collagen good? Yeah. Collagen is great. Yo, collagen is the building blocks of our skin, hair, and nails. Um, I had a video on collagen powder and how beneficial it is. And the only reason I mentioned that I'm not adding collagen into this is because I really want to focus on one thing at a time to say for me, like, okay, I can say MSN grew my hair, not anything else. Cause you know, a sister loves to do extra, but I'm trying to be focused, but for, by all means that y'all can grow your hair. If y'all want to grow 20 inches of hair as fast as possible, do so. Collagen is amazing for your body. Um, there are different types of collagen, type one, type two, and type three. Um, I believe the one that most of that we take is, uh, type one and type three. Um, that's for hair, skin, and nails. So it's very good to take. Um, is there anything like too much vitamin C? Is there anything like too much? I mean, you could technically take too much vitamin C, but you'll, you'll pee it out. Um, vitamin C is one of those things that when you take too much, it just comes on right on out. <laughs> uh, Jessica says I'm using the same one as well. Wonderful, Jess. I saw your picture too. Wonderful. Um, thank you, Sia. Again, I see here. I use MSM powder, collagen, and vitamin C into my oils and sprays. Wonderful. Wonderful. How are, Andre, how are you been um, liking using all of them in your sprays? Terry says, I installed box sprays almost two weeks ago and I already see new growth. Yes, girl. Okay. Y'all, <laughs> I love in this. I'm loving this. Yolanda Jean says, it was called the gold standard organic sulfur crystals from Amazon. Oh, wonderful. Okay. I'm going to put that in the chat too. Okay. So the, the, um, the actual crystals one, um, that I mentioned earlier that a lot of people said they experienced no side effects from were the gold standard organic sulfur crystals. Okay. So I'll put that in the chat. I think like it should come up for you guys. Okay. I'm going to stay on MSN because I have no joint pain. Happy day. Yes. Kitty, let me tell you, <laughs> I've been working out really crazy. Um, I'm sure y'all see my, my Instagram post and my body was taking a hit y'all. And I love my BCAAs. It definitely helps with like soreness, right? This definitely helps with soreness. Amazing, amazing. But my little joints were like, er, er, er. <laughs> but now I don't hear it. I'm telling you, I feel like I was snap, crack on pop getting up every single day. Like, you know, trying to not, not get old too quick. And this MSN powder, like I always say this, we're taking it for hair growth, but it has so many, and like it has a lot of anti-inflammatory properties. So it will help with joint pain and arthritis pain. So I feel you on that, Kenny. <laughs> um, Esther says, if you put it in your oil, if you don't drink it, are you going to take vitamin C? Yeah, you add the vitamin C into your oil as well, um, Esther. You add the vitamin C and the MSM powder into your oil. However you take it, you should always be adding vitamin C with it. Monique Burr says, do you need collagen and MSM or can you take one or the other? You can definitely take one or the other. We're doing the MSM challenge, so I'm focusing mainly on MSM powder. Um, but collagen is great to take if you like to take it together. If you want to just take the MSM like we are doing, by all means, just take the MSM. Okay. She needs to add a pre-poo and include aloe vera to her deep conditioner as well as slippery L, marshmallow root, flaxseed gel. Oh, I'm sure you're talking about the woman who was asking about um, her hair. Yes, yes. Hello, everyone. Hello, Melissa. Um, I drink my MSM with the mor Moringa tea. Yes, me too. That's what I usually do. I feel like on the days that I'm on um, live, I always end up putting it into my water. But um However you drink it, that's really all that matters. Moringa tea is bomb. I actually just got some more from this um, Black-owned company this time. I usually order from Amazon. Um, what is her name? I just had her name in my head, and my brain is like brain fart moment. Let me let me scroll down because I've been using. I'm excited because she definitely like is always sharing all this information about like all natural herbs on her page. And I went to her page and realized she had a tea and she had Moringa tea. And I was like, oh my God, sis, I have to support you. So I, per Dr. N Dr. Nettles Beauty, I just purchased my Moringa tea from her. So I'm excited to, probably, it, it's probably in my mailbox. I should probably go check the mail um, and see if my Moringa tea from her is here. 
Uh, let's see here. Hi, Sassy Rare Breed. Hey, girl. It's okay you late. We, you know, we'll be here chit-chatting. Uh, Sharon says, I get my collagen from Cal Hill Soup. Oh, okay. What are you making that soup? Tell us this. Uh, Cheryl Lee says, should we take a break with the MSM? Um, so someone asked me this last week actually too. And, um, I will eventually take a break. I'm actually going to try and work up to a teaspoon. Like I said, this, uh, what we're taking is not even a full teaspoon. Um, I'm going to only, you know, work with you guys, uh, to, to take the recommended dose, right? I'm going to just say, let's, the, the challenge is only going to take up to the recommended dose of what they're saying. So. That's how I'm going to to stick with you guys with it. Oh, Shannon says bye. Okay, nice communicating with you too. I uh, will see you guys next week, Shannon. Um, thanks for joining today. And um, so yeah, but eventually after I get to like the full teaspoon, I'm going to give my body a break. But I do know a lot of people, again, like I said, we're taking this for hair growth. A lot of people take this forever for arthritis pain, inf inflammation, joint pain, um, so many other issues and they take it consistently and don't have any problems with that. So I would say it's up, it's really up to you and maybe talk to your doctor about it. But I'm always someone who likes to do something for a while and then take a break and then restart it again. Um, so that's just my, my personal thoughts about it. Uh, I have to go. Okay. How often should I use your avocado conditioner? Can I add it? Um, I don't, I don't actually have an avocado conditioner, so I'm not sure. Um, which one you're talking about? You mean my oh, an aloe conditioner, that deep conditioner, the one I sell? Check them out. One on my page. I'm not sure which one you're talking about. Um, Andre, I love using them all. My nails growing like crazy. My hair has been getting thicker since starting this with you. I drink a gallon of water a day and it helps so much. Yay! Sassy Rare says, I'm using Emerson. Hi, baby. I'm using MSN topically, topically three times a week. It's working wonderful. Are you, um, Sassy Red Breed, are you using the spray or are you using the oil? Um, for my oil, I created my own Ayurvedic oil and added the MSN collagen and vitamin C. Yes, that's perfect, Andre. Yes, that's great. I added um, the oil I created is one of my Ayurvedic mixes, and I ended up adding carrot oil to it. MSM powder, vitamin C. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. And Sia, thank you again. You are supporting out here. Thank you, CCU. Thank you for your support, y'all. Um, Cassandra says, yeah, I finally made it to a live. Your video is always so helpful. Thank you. I'm so glad. If you have any questions, let me know as well. Um, if you have any topics we had about, because you know, last week we were on tangents of tangents. Uh, so, uh, you know. I had bought the Camille Rose Cocoa Nibs Growth Serum. It has MSN in it, so I use it now and then. Okay, that's good. Like I say, there ain't nothing wrong with it. Look at purchasing it from somebody, DIY, whatever makes it best and easiest for you. Uh, Yolanda Jean says, where's the best place I can buy the herb and gluten? So I bought mine on Amazon from um, the place is called Shebe USA. So they sell it on their website too, Shebe. I think it's, yeah, Shebe USA. Shebeusa.com. Let me see. Shebe USA. Okay. So this is where I got I purchased mine from, but I purchased on Amazon just because they have I have Amazon Prime and they have free shipping. So you know, your girl was taking advantage of free shipping. <laughs> and I think on Shebe USA, it's like you have to pay for shipping. So. That's where I got mine from. Uh, can I add MSM to pineapple juice? Yes, you can. Oh, I actually think I want to do that. That sounds good. Could you write the name of the person you just mentioned? Oh, Dr. Nettles Beauty. Yeah, let me. Let me make sure I get her name right. She has a website too, Dr. Nettles Beauty. Let me put this in there. Okay, let's see. Will you add protein treatment to your product line? Yes, I'm actually working on right now two new things to drop. Um, and that is going to be the protein deep conditioner that you guys saw me make with me and my nephew. 
And I'm going to be making a shampoo. Not a shampoo bar, because I have a shampoo bar. Um, something in addition to the shampoo bar, or um, if you have gray hair or light color hair, and you don't want the herbs to dye your hair, I'm working on a shampoo for that. So those two things I am working on and will be dropping soon, but you just be patient with me. The protein will probably uh, come out quicker than the, the shampoo because that's pretty much in the works. I mean, you know, I just, I do a lot of testing before, you know, stuff goes out and I want to make sure everything is good to go. So yeah. Sassy Bear, breathe the oil. I'll make the tea next week. I'm switching it up. Wonderful. Uh, Sharon and Pierre, I use all of that. And Nancy, thank you. I may not be using enough. I think I want to make an extreme moisturizing cream that seems to work well or try your oat cream. Yeah, either or, sis, either or. Hello, I am Nancy. I have been taking M. St. Crystal for the past few years. I want to testify it's the truth for so many issues, benefits, hair, joints, muscles, endurance, and energy, good sleep. Yes, I love to hear that. No, seriously, I really love, love to hear that. It is MSM has so many more benefits. Like I said, we're taking it for one reason, but you can, you're can you going to experience a number of benefits. So that is amazing. Good to hear that too, okay? Mm -hmm. So you guys, does anyone have any more questions? I really just came on just to see how everyone's doing, how we're week three of our challenge. If you had any questions or anything, doesn't have to be long and drawn out because, you know, last week was like three hours almost. It was like two and a half, I think. It was great, though. It was great. Oh, yay. Thank you, sweet lady. She didn't put my products in the in the, in the the chat for y'all. Thank you so much for sharing, girl. You know I'll be forgetting. <laughs> Can MSN be used internally and externally without taking breaks? Yes. Um. Yeah, you can. So right now, and I, I say this, we're doing the eight-week. It's an eight-week hair challenge. And we're taking it internally and externally. So right now, I'm taking it in my, um, I have like a water right now that I'm taking it. And I'm also using it externally on my hair. In the challenge, we said we were going to use it externally for a minimum of two times per week. You can use it more often than that. But that was just the minimum use, you know. Um, and internally, we're taking it every day. So, yes. Um, I mentioned before, I don't know if you were on the chat, that I was I'm going to work my way up to one teaspoon. It's not going to be on this challenge uh, with you guys because right now I'm working up to the to the recommended dose in the, on this challenge. But feel free to to increase your dose or do what you like. But I always take a break after you know doing something for a short period of time or a long period of time. But like I said, other people use this forever in their regimen because they have arthritis pain or joint pain or et cetera, whatever issues. So yeah. Um, Regina says, I can't wait for the shampoo. I color my hair with henna and indigo. Yes, that's awesome. I love, love, love henna. Henna is bae for me. Um, I love it. I have been using it for 12 years and I'm never going to stop using henna. So I feel you on that. Um, hello, I'm late. Hello, dear. <laughs> Yay to the protein deep conditioner. Yeah. A lot of you guys love that video and my, you know, my results from that video were insane. Like my hair was just flourishing in that in that protein deep conditioner video. How can I purchase your products? Um, sweet lady just shared a link. If you scroll up, like probably not even a full scroll, you can see the link in there. Um, if you can share that again, I would appreciate it, sweet lady. If not, fine, they can scroll up. Um, what is a good shampoo and conditioner to use? My line. <laughs> no. Yes, of course you can use my line. Definitely. I have a shampoo bar and a deep conditioner. But um, finding products that I would say that work for your hair that have, I was talking about, really three main things. You need something that's going to attract moisture. So you need that humectant. Um, you need, humectants can be panthenol, glycerin. Even certain proteins, they're like film forming proteins that actually can attract moisture to your hair. Um, you need, I would say, like some type of conditioning ingredients like aloe vera, rose water, herbal tea mixtures. And then you need your occlusive agents that are sealing like your oils, your butter, shea butter, mango butter, castor oil. 
You know, um, you really want to stay away from anything that's going to dry out your hair. Again, we talk about alcohols, but not all alcohols are bad. Um, so really do your research, but of course I'm going to say, try out my line. <laughs> it is all natural. If you guys, if you ever want to learn how to make your own deep conditioner, you can go to my channel and you can see, I have a ton of DIY deep conditioners that you can try and also to see what type of products that you like. Right. Um, my line right now is focused on oat and aloe and, um, it is infused with like 10 Ayurvedic herbs in it. And um, it's really meant to hydrate your hair and then provide that lasting moisture. The conditioner has insane amounts of slip. If you're someone with who find, can't find products at work, that conditioner is, I would say, is life changing. <laughs> Octavia, she over here, yes, she's like, I love the moisturizing and defining cream. Yes, your hairline is where my hair is concerned. Yeah, yes, her her line is where. I can't read today. Yes, her line is it where my hair is concerned. Thank you, Octavia. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Regina, too. I see you. Uh, I love your products. Try her line. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I really crafted those products for our type of hair. Just struggle to get that moisture, struggle for that lasting moisture. It's It can be, you know, hard. So you know, it's really intentional to help those who are struggling. Helen says, I love, love it, but need more. My hair is very dry. So Helen, I would say try my line. Have you tried my line? Have you tried my conditioner, shampoo, twist cream, all of those things? Definitely try that then. I highly recommend, highly recommend that. Um, also started using hibiscus tea, drinking it and spraying it in my hair. So many natural things you can use to help your hair, both by ingesting and using topically A, natural hair rocks. Yes, yes. All of, all of what you said, all of it. Hibiscus tea, hibiscus is amazing for your hair, internally, externally. It's also like a detox or internally for your body. Wonderful benefits. Um, hello, Octavia. We kind of chatted already. Yes, thank you, thank you. Sassy, Rarey, are you going to make a hibiscus-based conditioner or butter or leave-in? It would be a great addition, and I'm being I'm too lazy and busy to make it right now. Yeah, so for the spring, Y'all getting all the insights right now. For the springtime, I'm going to um, drop the hibiscus. Uh, like, I'm definitely going to do the moisturizer and probably the gel. Um, maybe the conditioner. We'll see. I have a lot of things coming for you guys. Um, so I'm definitely, you know, been working. I actually just got like six new boxes that came in today <laughs> of products that I'm trying to, you know, work through. So I'm trying really hard to again, get stuff out that Matt, that you guys like and that you guys want. And I know that hibiscus stuff was really important for y'all. When I dropped that, y'all were like, are you putting this on your site today? And I was like, no, y'all. <laughs> I was already working on the O and Aloe one, but I, I know you guys have mentioned that you guys have asked. So I, I got y'all. I got y'all. Okay. Um, Sugar says, I love Babasu oil after using Afro G's Pro Vitamin Leave and Conditioner. I'm relaxed. Babasu oil is a great oil. Um, it's phenomenal. It's kind of like coconut oil without the things that people hate. Like people don't like coconut oil, always love babasu oil. It has a lot of moisturizing benefits. It can really penetrate into your hair strand. Um, yes. So Helen says, I've tried baby oil. No, 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 no baby oil, honey. Uh, baby oil is not great for your hair. Um, you should be using something that's hydrating first and then sealing with an all natural oil. You can, um, Olive oil, castor oil, almond oil. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think. Uh, sweet almond oil, avocado oil. You can definitely use anything else. Throw that baby oil in the trash. Okay. <laughs> Do you recommend? Okay, just purchase your hairline. Can't wait to get it. Yay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Tanya. I am working a lot trying to get all these orders out. There's a ton of orders right now. Um, I actually just made a whole bunch new batches of products so I can um, send them out. So I'll be working on that tomorrow. Uh, let's see here. Uh, do you recommend your line to relax hair? Yes, I do. I do. Um, you might, let me think here. Like maybe the shea butter and stuff might be heavy, but like the leave-in and the deep conditioner, the shampoo and all of that would be good for you. Definitely. 
yeah. The shea butter, you you might not, you might, it might be too heavy for your hair. You might like the oil instead, the Ayurvedic hair oil or the scalp oil, but the leave-in conditioner will be really good for your hair too. My hair is for cute. And when I tell you your products got it together, yes. Yes, Regina, yes. <laughs> I love to hear that. I love to hear that because listen, I feel like my hair was never as healthy as it was until I started making my own products because they don't really make hair products for us like that. Um, okay, Melissa, I, I've discussed about baby oil. Not not a fan of that, sis. Uh, I'll try butter, baby oil, castor GTX. I mean, are you just stating all the things you tried, Helen? I'm not sure. Are you are you asking a question? Are you just stating the things you've tried? Have those things worked for you very well? Um those things sound like they're a very clogging for your for your hair. Um, if you're using it as a sealant, that might work. But I'm I'm just trying to understand what you're actually saying here. P Jones, click the link for your website. You put it in the chat, and it comes up as an error. Okay, I love you, girl. You inspire me a lot. First time watching your live. Thank you, Lifestyle by Ebony B. <laughs> oh, you guys, are, you guys really make my day. Like I'm, it's so funny. Like I was not really into like live chats, and since doing the eight week challenge, I really feel like I'm getting to know you guys, and you guys are getting to know me, and this is actually really kind of nice. I really, really appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Uh, P. Jones, look in the description. The link is also there. Okay. I have a question about hair loss other than my iron. What could it be? Um, P. N. M. P. N. M. Um, it probably is your iron. <laughs> uh, have you got a blood test? I think we talked about this last week, but, um, really finding out what's going on internally because iron anemia can cause hair loss. Iron, uh, not any type of anemia can cause hair loss. Iron anemia, B12 anemia, um, vitamin D deficiencies can cause hair loss. Uh, thyroid, hormones, it can be a lot of things. So like I said last week, I highly recommend going to your doctor to find out what's going on internally. Get to ask for that blood test. Tell them, run you that blood test and figure it out, right? Don't let, don't, you know, if, if you're having hair loss, like sufficient, like a large amount of hair loss or patches of hair, go to a dermatologist, go to your doctor, find maybe a black doctor to go to or a black dermatologist and, and really, you know, figure out what's going on with your body. Um, Grapeseed oil. I wash my hair three times a day. Okay, Helen. Um, that's really excessive. Um, shea butter makes my hair dry. For some people, it can. So you go, you can avoid it. Don't use shea butter for makes your hair dry. There are other oils um, that you can use to seal your hair. Castor oil, um, that's a thicker oil. Extra virgin olive oil, uh, avocado oil. There are a ton of things that you can use. Not everybody's hair is going to like everything. So that's, that's not a problem. Uh, I started taking iron pills two weeks ago. Oh, girl, two weeks ain't enough to to see any difference with your hair loss. I mean, it also is going to depend on how bad, how low your iron was. When I when I had my iron deficiency, it took six months before I saw any any change. You know why? Because when your iron is depends on how low your iron is, right? You have your iron stores, and then you have your normal iron that you use for as normal. So if your iron stores are depleted, all of those iron stores have to get filled up, then for your normal levels to fill up. Before your body says, all right, we'll designate some to your hair. Okay. Cause like I said, I said last week, your hair, your skin and your nails, like, well, your nails really in your hair. They are the last things that your body are going to give to. And your body's saying like the vital organs internally, those are the most important. So they're going to give to that. So your hair is not, two weeks is not, is not going to be enough. If you're iron, if you're truly iron deficient and I don't know what level you're at, it's going to be probably weeks or months before your hair gets to a place that is going to stop the breakage and, and growing. Uh, you might want to talk to your doctor about um, iron infusions to help, you know, raise that level quicker. If you're trying to, if you're just taking regular pills, it can take a long time. Um, let's see here. Yes. When you get your iron check, don't forget to ask for vitamin D tests. Yes. Yes. 
Faith and Mani, your hair looks very healthy and your eyebrows too. They're missing doing you good. Yes, it is. <laughs> it really is. I feel like my hair is flourishing. I'm trying, I'm trying not to do a lunch yet because you know I get excited. Um, but my hair is, I can just tell like it is looking thicker and good. Um, these Swiss are already a week old, but I feel like they still look pretty, pretty all right, you know. Next time I'm gonna bring in my uh, ring light because I'm like just sitting behind the window here, so I don't have a ton of light on me. Uh, let's see. I don't think they work. She probably started stating what she uses. Okay. Oh, you're talking about how if all those things work, stop. Don't work. Stop using them. Stop using all of those things. Um, if you really want to start from scratch, you can go to my channel and look up some of my easy DIY like recipes for um, moisture. You can make your own leave-in with like water and aloe vera and still with a light oil. You can also, if you really want to try making hair products, I have some moisturizers and creams oh. um, and all that. So if you really have, if you really have questions, like, you know, uh, your hair looks very healthy. Okay. Uh, what do you prefer? Oil, dry, pre-poo, or conditioner? Poo position or conditioner wet? Um, I prefer a wet pre-poo, personally. Um, I might start off with like a, like a cream, like an oil with a cream together. And it just depends. I should say it depends on what I'm doing. Like sometimes I do a uh, hair Ayurvedic herbs as a pre-poo. And sometimes I'm doing like an, a hot oil treatment. And even if I'm kind of doing like a hot oil treatment pre-poo, I will dampen my hair before adding the oil just so I can get some of the oil to absorb into my hair. Because it's some of the low porosity hair, my hair just be like, and what else? So um, adding some type of like, even if it's just water, warm water in a spray bottle before adding the oils, that also helps. Now, if I'm doing a hair mask, yes, I will just dampen my hair with warm water to kind of break up some of the oils I have on my hair and then apply the mask on. Uh, once I start taking an iron supplement, my hair stops shedding excessively. Doctor rec recommended three months now. Still have shedding, but not as much. Yes, Nicole. Yeah, it just it just takes time. It's really unfortunate, but iron is one of those things that slowly builds up over time. So I I will say like depending on how bad your how low your your iron levels are, um, it's you're not gonna see no changes in, in a month <laughs> or two. <laughs> but over time, I would say you're right. Three months for me was like six months where it where the shedding really stopped. Like it was like noticeable. I was like, oh. Okay, this is <laughs> this is this is what normal hair fall should be, right? Because we're always gonna lose hair. That's normal. But no, the amount of shedding I had was like insane, insane. Um, have you tried? Oh, you're talking to Melissa. Have you tried kokum, kupuwasu, or mumu butters? Kupuwasu butter is a really good butter. So is kokum. I've not tried mumu butter. I know you're talking to Melissa, but I just you know I do like those butters. What's the difference between the MSM powder and tablets? Really, the only difference is um, the purity. So the powder is more pure than the tablets, and the crystals are more pure than the powder. So um, tablets will definitely have additives in it. And um, yeah, some people have said that like some of the additives have caused them to like blow up and gain weight. Um, just depends on what additives they put in it. And you know, unfortunately, they're not always. By law, they don't have to state exactly what additives were. So, you know. Uh, thank you, sweet lady. Yes, I, I see. I see what's going on here. Uh, Faith and money. I had bad low iron level four. That made me have blood transfusions and my hair fell out. Yeah, it's. I was at a level six, and they were talking about uh, trying to transfuse me as well. Um, Iron, iron is real. That's why when people say like I have iron anemia or you know I'm having hair loss, and I'm like, go go get that blood test because I'm telling you it it could be something else and a lot worse. Like, forget just like you're talking about hair loss. Your organs could be like in failure. So you know, get that test. Um, yeah, yeah, P Jones. I think she was kind of like spamming us, P Jones. Uh. What brand iron pills are you taking? Because I found not all of them absorb well. Yeah. Uh, you're asking Nicole. So I'm, I'm going to show you guys. I, I showed you all last week. I'm going to show you guys what, what iron I'm taking. It's a liquid iron and it it's um it's an herbal iron. One second. 
Y'all don't don't pay attention to my uh my sweats. I'm gonna just slide out so you don't get my sweats real quick. <laughs> okay. So this is the liquid iron I'm taking from Gaia Herbs, the Plant Force liquid iron. This iron has been amazing. The Floridex is a good one too. Um, but I prefer this one. I do. I do. I've tried, let me tell you, I've tried all types of iron. I've been liquid, you know, all, all through the iron things, but this right here has been my baby. Um, I'm actually going to do a video this week for tip Tuesday, kind of on like the vitamins I'm taking. Uh, it was requested last week. I hope you guys enjoy the videos that I've been doing lately. Um, and let me know if you guys have any suggestions for things that you, you know, you might want to see from me. But last week you guys asked about, um, the type of vitamins that I'm taking and because I take a lot of herbs internally for different things. So yeah, this is what I'm taking with the iron and I love, love it. When I tell you my energy levels bounce back like right away for me with this. Now, again, when I started taking this, I was already at a level like 12. I think you're supposed to be at a level 13 when you, so it wasn't like I said, like I had, like I was at a level four or level five and I had to get all the way back up to 13. Like this, as I said before, this is supposed to be about maintaining uh, levels that are already high. Don't, don't think that you're going to take some iron today and tomorrow or a week from now or a month from now, you're going to be perfect if your levels are so low. Okay. All right. Uh, thank you, Joe V, for supporting me. She said she just placed an order with my website. Y'all, don't forget, I'm, I, I have a sale right now going on. So, you know, throw out that support. <laughs> Sony says, I've been taking the pill form. Okay. I take Spring Valley brand 27 MGs. All right. That's good. That's that's good. I saw that brand here. Like, well, I saw that brand online. Yeah. I just bought that OE2. I'm not sure what you mean. Uh, yes, I, I know I do. Very informative. Please support our sister and her black owned business who has poured so much love into us and our products website shown in description box. Thank you, sweet lady. <laughs> I enjoy your live. They are very informative. Thanks. Thanks. Um, I've been on a website, but I didn't see a sell or promo code or anything. Oh, cause you know why I went out an email. The code is off. This is why I tell people to get on my email list, you know, so y'all can get the benefits. Um, but that's the code if y'all if y'all like it. Hi, Prentice. Hey, girl. <laughs> I just shampooed your hair with all my products. My hair is feeling great and it's thriving. Yay. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank Y'all be having me smile. Y'all be making my day. <laughs> uh, okay, let me put the link. I know uh, Sweet Lady has been very helpful. Let me tell you, having a moderator has been like life changing for me. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, okay, let me. Okay. All right. So do, does anyone else have any more questions um, or anything else? I want to make sure, you know, I know we came here for the MSM, but it's okay if we get a little sidetracked. If you have anything else you want to say or talk or ask, um, feel free to before. And if you're leaving, go ahead and like the ch like this live chat. Um, again, let me know if you guys also have any suggestions for any more videos that you want to see me do. Um, this week, we'll be talking about um, some vitamins and herbs that I'm taking for different things. So, yeah. Uh, Miss says, are you using a protein? Do you mean like protein treatment? Yeah, I do a protein treatment. Um, I don't have the product with me right here. But yeah, I did. I made a protein um, product with my nephew, me and my nephew, like a month and a half ago, a month and a half, maybe two months ago. And that's a protein treatment I've been using for my hair. And it's amazing. I'll link, let me see. I'll link the video for you guys if you want to see what I'm talking about. Uh, 
Pam Johnson, just love your products. Thank you, Pam. <laughs> Prentice, loving the MSN challenge, doing it externally. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful. Like I say, everybody don't have to take it internally, you know? Oh, I love, I brought way too much stuff for Black Friday, but once I've used up some of it, I'll get some of your stuff. Wonderful. Thank you, girl. Thank you. Girl, I, I feel you. Black Friday, everything be on sale. I'll be trying to shop everywhere. Hi, sis. I added some items to my cart, but I can't find the cart to check out. It's in the right, top right-hand corner. Sometimes you have to click the three lines. If you're on your phone, you have to click the three lines to drop down so the cart will pop up. I see if I can like fix that for mobile view view because I feel like the mobile view is kind of funny sometimes. Um, uh, thank you. I'll try the iron you mentioned. Yeah, yeah. Uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy your rest of your day too, my dear. I would like to see an updated skincare regimen. Okay, I can do that. I'm definitely using some new products. Um, I got some sent some new products from this black owned company that I've really been loving. I can do an updated video. Uh, let's see. I'll check out that hair protein video. You're welcome. And, um, uh, miss, I'm actually working on a protein, um, deep conditioner. So watch for that drop. That'll be sooner rather than later. <laughs> that and the shampoo is coming next. So, you know, sending the love back. This is how and where we help quality black businesses. And this is truly one. Oh, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. I have not yet tried any of your products because I use my own natural products at home, but you've taught us so much. I will try one of yours to support. Thank you, sis. And I, look, I'm all about, if you can make your products at home, good girl. That's part of what my page was about, helping people who maybe just don't want to, you know, go out and have to have to spend, but really learning your hair, what your hair likes. And that way, if you chose to buy, you know, you know what your hair likes and you kind of already have it halfway figured out. So that's wonderful. Uh, thanks for sharing. Be sure that the supplement are deprived from whole foods and not synthetics. Yes, you're right. Uh, we love you. Oh, we love you too. Y'all are the best. <laughs> oh, Monique, thank you so much. She said she just ordered from my website. Oh, you know, I have to like go run back and uh, <laughs> go start fulfilling orders and making more products. I'm sure. Uh, I started taking liquid chlorophyll. Maybe you can review that. I want your opinion. Okay, okay, liquid chlorophyll. What are you taking it for? Just just out of curiosity. I'm writing this down in my uh my notes of things that you guys have asked for. Chlorophyll. Okay. And y'all, I'm also going to get back to doing some more herb videos after this week's, um, this week's video will be, it will obviously mention herbs because I do take herbs internally. Um, so there will be definitely some herbs, but I'll get back to doing some new herbs. Are there any other new herbs you guys have heard about that you're like, mm, I would love to know more about, or you just, you don't care. You just want me to drop something about herbs. Oh, yes. Esh says, I placed an order when you dropped the code last week and received my order already. Yes, that's what I want to hear. Girl, I was trying to be on it because let me tell you, if I wait a day or two, them orders pile up and then I, you know, so I was ready and stocked and, and y'all showed, y'all showed out for your girl. So I really appreciate it. I'm really trying to ship like a couple times a week. Um, and this week is going to be a little bit quiet wise for me, um, for my job. I took off, uh, Monday. So tomorrow I don't have to go in. So I go in, I mean, I'm working from home, but uh, I can really focus on getting orders out in the morning. And so y'all could get the next shipment, you know. So sorry, Mr. Live, but save it so we can watch. So you use vitamin C with your MSM. Yes, ma'am. I use vitamin C with my MSM. You can use the um the powder form, you can use the gummies. I take gummies. I take everything, girl. <laughs> um, so yes, yes. But definitely, definitely take vitamin C with your MSM powder. It really helps to um, absorb and get the benefits of it. And also make sure you drink your water, a minimum of 64 ounces every single day, okay? I want to see more of your easy protective low manipulation styles that you wear during the work week. Okay, y'all like that video? Sometimes it's hard because like the protective style videos don't do well, but I know y'all really like them. Like those who like protective style videos will watch them, but... 
I'll do a mix of both, you know? I'll do a mix of both. Thank you. She just placed my order. Can't wait. Oh, y'all got... Y'all coming through with the support today. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Absolutely love your videos. Thank you, sis. Thank you. Is there anything you love to see? I love to hear what you guys think. Do you stop one thing when starting a new thing on scalp or hair? Um, sometimes. So it just depends on like a lot of the base herbs that I use regularly, like omelet, fenugreek, neem. Um, I use them a lot. Uh, even if I don't use them, like sometimes you guys will see me do an oil and I'll introduce something new. And then I might add to my deep conditioner, I might add the other herbs that I know that work. But if I'm really just trying something new, like when I did kind of when I did that Ambunu series for you guys, and when I did the Shebe series, I was really just using those products. And I wanted to know if those products worked, right? So, you know, I, I really try to see like, because a lot of times it happens that I do stuff off scene, right? I just like, I'll be like, all right, tomorrow I'm going to film this. I'm going to try this. And I'll work usually to figure out like what works. And then you guys will just get a finely crafted recipe and or formula and whatever. And that's how you'll get it. But sometimes I'll take you through the whole process. And I feel like on the Ambunu videos um, and the Shebe videos, you guys saw, I was like, I purchased this product. I'm going to take it exactly how the product says to take it. And then so each week I just like, experiment it with it more. So it just depends on like what I'm doing. Um, for me, because I know what my hair really likes. Um, I do try to make sure if it's something new in my hair, maybe didn't love it as much or my hair felt drier. I'll go back to stick to the things that I know my hair really loves. So yeah. I love a video where you share all the items you buy from black owned businesses, even non hair related stuff. It would be a great black history month video. Oh yeah. That's good. That's good. Because, girl, you know, I support as much Black-owned. These are Black-owned. This lipstick that I'm wearing, I was actually going to mention that. The Lip Revolt lipstick I'm wearing, Black-owned, I really try to support. So that's a really good idea. All right. So I'm going to put... Own businesses. I support. Sure, I can do that. Um, are orange juice and fruit smoothies okay to mix MSN? Yes. Yes, they are. Very good. Um, well, Melissa says I second that. Okay. I got y'all. I got y'all. Don't forget to give her a thumbs up. Thank you. Thank you. Definitely to like it. I like using, and I'm going to mispronounce this, less, less it did. I know what it is, but okay. Okay. Taking liquid chlorophyll for general well-being. If you do not eat enough green leafy vegetables, it's a good supplement for healthy skin, et cetera. Okay. <laughs> Melissa, just drop something about herbs. <laughs> okay. All right. Sweet lady. I love that lip color. Thank you. It is, um, it's from the Liver Vault. It's called Insurgent. Um, I love, love. I did not, let me tell you, I ordered this on a whim because I put in my uh, Instagram thing. I was like, I want to support somebody black owned. Can you find me some lipstick? And everyone said Lip Revolt. And I tried them. When I first put it on, it comes on like a gloss almost. And I was like, ah, oh, I don't really want another like gloss. And then it like dries like matte. And it's moisturizing. And I was like, oh, like I wasn't ready. <laughs> it's like my favorite one right now. And I mix this with the other one I have. I got two of them. Um, I forget. It's like a pink one. But sometimes I'll put the pink on the inside and... I just feel, I be feeling extra fly when I have those two on, okay? Uh, Jessica says, I have no sense since taking the MSN. My leg hairs have come in faster. <laughs> Girl, you might get hairs everywhere. I was like, my, I had to shave my underarms. I was like, oh, okay, underarms. Uh, yeah, every, like, that's the thing. Like I said before, you, your hair is going to grow everywhere, not just on your hair, on, the, on your hair and your head. It can grow. My eyebrows, uh, probably my eyelashes hopefully my eyelashes yo why is it that men got the best eyelashes meanwhile i got the littlest eyelashes on the face of this earth okay they're so little um <laughs> sonny says i like to know about the herb ashwagandha i got the powder to mix in hair oil but saw it in pill form at whole foods last week i was surprised to see it on the store shelf yeah i actually have one video on ashwagandha it's probably like two years old actually now um it's an adaptogenic herb. It's really good for stress. So that's probably why you saw it in the pill form. You could take it as a pill form. Um, I add it to hair masks. It's in my oil as well. 
but I can do another video. I can do an updated video on it. Um, you have stress and anxiety. Ashwagandha is a phenomenal herb to take. Just, just some sidebar, you know. <laughs> uh, sassy rare breed. Hey sis, I have to go. I have some ideas for you. I'll drop in your DMs. Love your spirit. Thank you, sis. Please, please drop them ideas for me, sis. I love you. I'll see you, hun. Uh, yeah, I always, uh, yeah, I always your lip colors. Thank you, thank you. Ashwagandha is great for hormones and stress. Yep, yep. Approximately how long in inches would you say your hair is? You've been my hair girls for a while. I've recently started tracking my growth. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I haven't measured in inches. On my video that I did for the Emerson Hair Growth Challenge, I just did like a, a pull test. I actually didn't measure it in inches. Um, It's below my bra strap in the back. It's almost like five inches from my hip. Um, I don't know. That's actually a good question. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll do, instead of just doing a pull test, maybe I'll get the ruler out and, and measure it. But it, like my sides like come like down here and then the other one comes in the middle of my back. I don't know if you saw, did you see the, um, hair grow challenge video for the MSN hair grow challenge? Cause I do a pull test in that. And so you can kind of see it there, but it's not in inches. It's just, a, you know, a video of it. I don't know. hope that helps. Uh, Anastasia says, are you Nigerian? No, I'm not. I wish maybe, maybe my ancestors are, but I really don't know. Um, born in America. So just, just American as far as I know, you know, <laughs> probably from my ancestors. I, look, so I have done my ancestry before and that thing has changed 500 times since I've done that test. It does say I have from uh, Nigeria. It's very funny that you mentioned that because literally today, me and my husband were just talking about that and um, I had just pulled up my my results again. And I, I'm laughing because, so it says I'm 39% Nigerian, 31% from Cameroon, Congo, Western Bantu, 8% from England, Northern Northwestern Europe, 8% Ivory Coast, 3% Benin and Togo, 3% Mali, 2% Scotland, 2% Ireland, 1% Southern Bantu people, 1% Spain, 1% Sweden, 1% Norway. But like I said, that has changed at least five or six times since I've got my um, my ancestry done. And I get there saying like, as more people take tests, like your results will change. The one thing we'll say, like the percent, my white percentage has always stayed the same and my African percentage has always stayed the same. But within those percentages, percentages it changes. Like when I first got it, it said that I was like, 40 something percent Ivory Coast and Ghana, and there was like 10 percent Nigerian. And then it was like uh, Southern Bantu was like 30 percent at one point. Like it changes all the time. Uh, hey, Gina. Hey, just doing my check in. Took my dose. Hey, Gina. Sorry, girl. We was on. I was on a tangent about uh, the other question. Wonderful. I'm actually still drinking my dose for today because I've been chit chatting away. Um, how have you been doing on your your challenge? How you been feeling? Everything been good? Regina says, y'all blessed that you can take the MSM because I grow hair everywhere without taking it. I had to, <laughs> I played today the upper lip. It's okay, sis. I, thankfully, I haven't gotten no upper lip hair, but hair can grow other places, okay? Like I said, I was, I'm not a very hairy person, but when I take the MSM, the pits, the legs, you know, hair be growing like quickly. <laughs> if you only use MSM topically, do I still have to drink lots of water? Yes. Yes, you do. Because your body is still absorbing the MSM powder. And you should still be taking it with vitamin C as well, Margie. <laughs> Gina, no worries. It's all good. Thank you, sis. Thank you. If you have any other questions, let me know. Um, I feel like the conversation is dying down a little. And hello. Hi, how are you, Viola? Good afternoon. Um, if there's not any other questions, I can definitely wrap it up if you guys, you know. But if you want to stay in chit chat, let me know. You know, <laughs> you're welcome, Margie. You're welcome. I really enjoy our little chit chats in the afternoon. Thank you, sweet lady, for moderating again. You're always so amazing, um, so kind. <laughs> um, you have the most beautiful smile. Appreciate your transparent. Thank you and willingness to share your hair journey, plus the educational gems you drop. 
help a lot of us keep doing a great job. Thank you, dear. Oh, <laughs> I appreciate you. Oh, you guys, y'all go make me cry. <laughs> Hi, dear. Please, can you can you MSN while on your period? Yes, yes, you can. Um, yeah. As I had said before, you know, talk, if you're having any other like health issues and stuff, definitely talk to your doctor first. But um, if you're fine, like he gives you approval, yes, you can take that while you're on your your cycle. Oh, the company's called um, Lip Revolt. I'll put it in the chat. And it is black owned. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I love your aura. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right. If there's any more questions, let me know. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the chat. Can MSN raise your blood pressure? Now, I'm not sure. I would definitely talk to your doctor. If you have blood pressure issues, um, talk to your doctor. And I said that before. If you're taking stuff internally, especially, talk to your doctor before taking it. Um, technically, MSN should be able to lower blood pressure, but I'm not going to like state that like take MSN to lower blood pressure, but it has anti-inflammatory uh, properties. It's meant to lower, and I mean, yeah, to lower inflammation in your body. So it might be able to help that. That's all. Uh, and it said, does not affect you on your period. Actually, it might help lessen your period pain. Yeah. Hello, I enjoy watching your videos. Can you recommend a good moisturizer other than aloe vera? It doesn't agree with my hair. Thanks for your response. So um, are you into like other herbs? So you can take... Um, do you like flaxseed gel? You can make flaxseed gel. You could make... Uh, marsh, you can use marshmallow root. You can boil the marshmallow, um, the actual root from the plant, boil that, and it has a nice mucilage to it. Uh, let me think what other one uh, fenugreek you can use fenugreek, you can use the seeds, you can put the seeds in water and then strain the water and use that, um, as part of your base for like a spray leave in. Uh, let me think. Um, what other ones? Phone. I have I have a video on it actually. Okay, let me look on here so I can just drop it in the thing. So I can just drop it in the chat box for you. Rose water is also wonderful. You can make an okra gel. Mm, 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 mm. That video there. So we end up blending all of those into like a full uh, product. But if you don't want to, you can use any of the single single products in those in those uh like in the ingredients in that. So you have the flaxseed, you have sea moss, marshmallow, okra, fenugreek, and then I make those into an actual like gel and product. But if you don't want to make the gel or product, you can just use those individual herbs as moisturizing herbs. Um. You mentioned the no pain. I had no pain this week. Oh yeah, no. Oh, so good now you mentioned the no pain. I didn't yeah, actually. I didn't have any pain this week either. It's very interesting that you say that. Uh, good afternoon. Just came across your channel, listening to your hair growth challenge with MSM. Am I too late to join this hair growth challenge? You can definitely join. Um, if you look at the video, I'll put the video prior to this. It has a calendar of where we're at, um, so you can see which week we're in. But you can start from the beginning because you're supposed to take this slowly. Um, take it with vitamin C, and you have to drink 64 ounces of water with it. Uh, but definitely join us. It's an eight-week challenge. Um, it's okay. We're just starting week three, but by all means, jump in. I'll put this um, the full video of the challenge in the chat. You don't. I too have sparse eyelashes because the men took them all. <laughs> Girl, all the men, all the men I know have amazing eyelashes. Meanwhile, I'm on struggle bus. Struggle bus times ten. <laughs> fenugreek smells like maple syrup. I can't. <laughs> I love the fenugreek face. <laughs> yes, you're right. Fenugreek smells like maple syrup. It just does. Uh, Tesla Slippery Elm. Yes. Thank you. Slippery Elm. I could not think of that herb. It was like blowing my mind. 
Uh, Jessica says, what essential oils do you recommend to add on a spritz leave-in? Um, if you're doing it like for the roots or you're doing it for like the length of your hair. So if you're going to like spray the spray like on your roots, like with the MSM powder, um, rosemary, peppermint essential oil, uh, tea tree, if you have any like scalp issues or eucalyptus, uh, lavender. Those are all good. All good. Where would you get the sea moss? Okay, so I actually have a friend um, who I get my sea moss from, and it's she's from St. Lucia, and she buys her, she gets her sea moss shit from St. Lucia. And um, I will put her information in the chat. Give me one second. Let me find her page because I don't remember it off the top of my head. Because I only go with reputable vendors, like, because there's so much fake sea moss out here nowadays that it's, Ridiculous and exhausting trying to find a reputable <laughs> vendor. Um, what is her company name? Okay, her brand is called Temple's Food. Let me um, put that. She also has like elderberry and all that stuff. Like, uh, let me put her actual website, templesfood.com. Make sure it's the right one. Yeah, okay. I have to go now. All right, Sony, Sunny, I'll see you. Thank you for joining. Hello, Jacka. You're late, but it's okay. <laughs> I love the smell of fenugreek. When I was nursing my sons and using it for milk supply, my milk would smell like syrup. That's actually funny. Yeah, it's really great for milk supply. If you are breastfeeding and having issues, um, definitely try that. Oh boy, I see the men have entered this chat here. We are uh, not going to entertain that. Hello, hello. Are there any of the Indian herbs that are not recommended for pregnant women? Yes. Um, Give me one second. Uh, I will I have it written down. <laughs> I write everything down. Uh, let me make sure there's no nonsense going on in this chat. Okay, let me, okay, let me see. Ooh, let me tell you my list of stuff. Okay, so herbs to avoid. You want to ask, yeah, if you're pregnant, don't take horsetail, sage, comfrey, C O M F R E Y, saw, palmetto, um, valerian, hops, <laughs> and I, you know what? I'll put, I'll. Put this on my Instagram so you can have the, um, the herbs you want to avoid during pregnancy. Okay. But those are some of the ones I, I have written down that I've researched on. Mm, what would be good for dry scalp? So those for dry scalp, tea tree, chamomile. Um, Lavender, rosemary, and neem, neem, tulsi, <laughs> nettle, uh, sage. Those are all good. Does horsetail get slimy like flax seeds? No. Mm -mm. Is this good to join if you're trying to have a baby? Oh, the Emerson Hair Challenge? Talk to your doctor, honey. Talk to your doctor. Uh, hello from the UK. Hello, hello. 
missed that one. Oh, okay. Thanks. <laughs> no problem. Do you suggest anything to reduce breakage? Um, yes, a lot of things. <laughs> so if you're going to, if you're need, if your hair is breaking, you need to look at what are you currently doing and what is currently not working. How often are you moisturizing your hair? How often are you deep conditioning your hair? What are you moisturizing your hair with? Um, are you doing the LCO or LOC process? Um, how often are you using protein? How often are you trimming? I mean, I need a little bit more information about uh, reducing breakage. Then I can recommend some herbs that can help with. Um, hair loss, but like, is the breakage coming from like high up? Is it coming from, are you having mid shaft breaks? Are you having on the ends of your hair breaking? Um, I just need a little bit more information. Malibu, I mix ashwagandha, amla, maca, moringa, and emerson as my morning wake up drink. Add either water or orange juice. That's, that's a great mix. That's a great mix. I do the Amla Moringa and MSM Vitamin C still um, in my wake up tea or smoothie. Um, where can I find the calendar for the challenge? It's in the um, video. It's in the challenge video. I, I think I dropped it in the link. Let me see. I dropped the link. I didn't drop in the link. I dropped the link. Here, I'm going to drop the video again. It's in the chat. I mean, it's in the description box in that video. Do you drink any teas for hair growth? Uh, I mean, I don't drink teas for hair growth. I just drink teas uh, in general to deal with day to day. So it just depends on, like I mentioned before, um, what's going on in my life. Uh, I have a lot of stress and anxiety. Um, so I drink a lot of different things for that. So like chamomile tea. Um, right now I'm drinking my Moringa tea in the morning with my MSN for, or I guess I would say that one is for hair growth. It's intentionally used to, you know, increase the vitamin C levels and I'm drinking them together. But, um, sorry, I'm reading, <laughs> started reading questions when, what you call it. Um, so so yeah, I mean, I drink nettle tea sometimes, um, ashwagandha when I'm dealing with stress, and it really, it really depends on what's going on in my life <laughs> and, and as to why what tea I'm drinking. But I don't really drink it per se for hair growth. Uh, do you have any tea? Yeah, it's a loaded question. Yeah. Uh, okay. Okay. Can you put all the information about the herbs on your Instagram? Yes, I can do that. Okay, thank you. I'm looking at the ingredients of your deep conditioner. Could you let me know what the butylene glycol does? I believe that's in the, let me just look real quick. I'll tell you what it is. Oh, that's part of the, that's part of BTMS 50, which is a conditioning emulsifier. So it helps to bind the oil and water phase. And it's a, it's a, it's basically the conditioning part of the emulsifier. <clears throat> okay. So this is, does MSN cause headaches? It can cause headaches if you're not drinking enough water and if you're not taking enough vitamin C with your um, MSN powder. So definitely we, we recommend it to drink at least 64 ounces of water every single day when you take the MSN powder and always take it with vitamin C. Uh, sorry for going out of topic. Did you hear the sister that used Gorilla Glue? <laughs> Maybe you can speak about good hair gel to display edges. Oh Lord, Faith Imani. <laughs> I hope y'all have seen this this um post that at first I did laugh at, you know, when I first saw it and I thought that was very, very sad. Cause right now she's like in the ER. The last I saw from the update was a woman who put the glue in the hair. And that is so sad because if her if her scalp does like if she can get that off, I don't know if her scalp and her pores will ever be able to to grow hair again. Like, oh goodness. So some some positive things to learn from this or some good things to lay your, your hair with. 
you can use flaxseed gel. Um, I have a uh, hibiscus and aloe vera gel on there that I use and I mix it with the, um, what is this? Is my... Okay, sorry y'all. <laughs> so you can make um, gels out of guar gum, xanthan gum, and uh, acacia gum. And I get all of these from Bulk Apothecary. You just use this with a little bit of water. And let me tell y'all, the manifold and gel you can get from this is going to be insane. So you can check out this video I have here of how to use it and make your own gels from it. Let me see. Let me scroll down. And if you don't like the aloe vera to it, you don't have to add the aloe vera. You can just use the hibiscus. Uh, hi. Let me open up the video. Get out of there. Get out of it. Thank you. Sorry, it's my dog <laughs> being nosy. Okay. Okay, so in that video I just shared, um, I showed you how to use a guar gum. You can use either guar or xanthan to make an actual gel from it. If not, you can use flaxseed gel. You can make okra gel or um, flaxseed okra. You actually can make a chia seed gel. I'm actually going to show that. I make an oat gel. You can do sea moss gel, an actual gel from that. I have videos on almost all of them. If you, if you want to know some good gels. What other teas can you add the MSM powder? Um, just, you can use almost, almost any tea that has vitamin C. And even if it doesn't have vitamin C, you can mix some of that in. Um, green tea with it, chamomile tea. I have this chamomile and lavender tea that I really love. I'm almost out of it. Hmm, I need to get some more. Um, this has lemon balm, lavender, chamomile. This is really rich in vitamin C, which I take the tea with that. Um, have another tea called Unwind. And this one also does have chamomile, peppermint, uh, lavender, liquor fruit. Oops. This one. So you can really take the MSM with a, most teas. A lot of teas have a lot of, um, any tea that really has a rich in vitamin C. Also take it um, hibiscus tea. Bomb. Actually, I want to drink. I want to drink one of these right now. <laughs> okay, let me get focused. Let me get back. I'm back. Do you diffuse essential oils to help with your anxiety. Try some blends to help diffusing and rolling on your temples and such. Um, I haven't been. I don't know why I haven't been. Like sometimes I'll put the essential oils on my pillow, or like I'll put. I just learned in this um, other group uh, to put them under your bed sheets on your bed or to spray a little bit in the water onto your sheets. So I'm gonna try that. Um, but uh, I do use lavender essential oil like heavily, uh, not too heavily, but you know what I mean? Like uh, I use it a lot to help with um, relaxation. But uh, I usually just take a lot of like, ash I take ashwagandha and um, chamomile. I drink a lot of chamomile tea as you see, like I have multiple ones. So that really helps out a lot. But I can try out some different blends. I have been in this new herbal group that I'm, you know, researching in, and they've definitely given me a lot of stuff. Um, yarrow, I keep hearing about, and I really need to go ahead and try that. That's also they say great for anxiety. Uh, Angel, oh, I'm sorry. What did you ask? Does it, Angel? Oh, does it need to be approved by a doctor for using? I recommend before you start anything, honey, to talk to your doctors especially if you're taking anything internally. I always recommend that. Um, Marilisa, I mixed mine with hibiscus, ashwagandha, maca, collagen, peptides, honey, vitamin C, and a little bit of lemonade. Oh, that sounds really good. Mm. 
Hi, hello. I went to my GP and requested a blood test. I was prescribed vitamin D without first discussing my test results with me. I spoke with my trichologist and went back to see my doctor. Huh. He, so Rose, he recommended the, or she, I don't know, recommended the vitamin D without discussing your test results. That's interesting. I mean, if he saw your vitamin D deficient, that's fine, but he should let you know that so you also can be aware of what you're doing, right? People, yeah, yeah. Hello, what advice can you give to women that have traction alopecia? Ooh, a lot. Um, if you're suffering from traction alopecia, well, number one, right now, stay away from anything that's going to put any um, pressure on your edges or wherever the alopecia is at, right? Um, I want you to look into herbs like amla powder, um, bringraj, bra and brahmi powder. Those are regenerative herbs and can focus down at the root level of the scalp to help stimulate hair growth. Um, so focus on those type of herbs and then massaging the area to increase blood flow. Okay. Um, definitely do that massaging at least every, every day if you can. Um, you can make an oil out of those herbs. I also have an Ayurvedic oil with all of those herbs in it and, and more, and that you will just focus on those areas and then give yourself an actual massage to help increase that cir circulation in, into those areas. Um, black castor oil is also wonderful to use um, in, your, in your oil mixtures along with those herbs. Excuse me. Do I need to drink a lot of water a week or so before taking it? Uh, oh, you have your, <laughs> so yes, if you, if you're already kind of dehydrated, I recommend drinking, getting your water levels up before taking, um, MSM powder. If you, if you download the calendar that I have, I recommend starting out every other day. So that will also introduce it into your system slowly, but definitely drink at least 64 ounces of water every day, every day. It's a lot. And yes, ma'am, I have my whole product line here. I have a shampoo bar, leave-in, a deep conditioner, a twist cream. I have um, shea bay butter, whip butter. I have shea bay butter. I have oils. I have an entire line, sis. So uh, definitely go check it out. I'm having a sale right now, 25% off. Um, code BLACK25. 25% off. Oh, definitely check that out. Uh, Rose Taylor is black woman. We need to speak up when we go see our doctors to get what we need from them. Yes, 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 we do. The mere fact that your doctor just like he saw something and didn't like tell you just that, oh, here's vitamin D. Like, let me know. Let me know what. Um, let me know, like, <laughs> let me know so I can be aware. So I know, OK, I need this level or whatever. Do your own research. But like, don't let people walk all over you. People, doctors can be real, real interesting, you know, especially when it comes to black women. Um, Vivian, Vivian, oh, sorry, I scrolled up too far. Um, oh, I see. Sweet lady already had it before I did. Girl was on it. Did someone mix up Gorilla Glue as being Gorilla Hair Gel? Hmm. No, Vivian, she actually, I don't believe she mixed it up. She just thought she wanted something to really hold down her hair with. And she just decided she was going to try Gorilla Glue. And not realizing that it was a permanent lasting thing. Like you use that to bind stuff forever. Like it's a hot mess. It is a hot mess what's going on with this woman. And she's like documenting it now. And and they, you know, she's trying like acetone, I think right now. And like uh, some type of wipes that she went for, she got from the ER. But if her, her I pray her, her scalp or pores are, are not permanently damaged. But I... I have no words for that. At first I laughed, like seeing her do this and seeing her try to wash it out. But it wasn't funny when it was like the reality of everything really sat in. And, and it's like, you no, know, this girl's going to have a lot of issues getting it off her hair because it's, it's it's almost like cemented to her scalp right now. It's crazy. Um, Rose said, uh, my doctor is not helpful when it comes to our hair issues because they lack the knowledge. Yeah, they lack the knowledge and they don't they don't care to to uh, invest in knowing. Unfortunately, does vitamin D deficiency impact hair growth or the health of the hair? Yes, yes, Bailey. Uh, vitamin D deficiency impacts hair hair growth tremendously. Um, a lot of people won't be able to grow their hair long or have a lot of breakage if they're suffering from that. The same with iron deficiency. Same with B12 deficiency, hormonal deficiencies. 
which is why I had suggested last week, if anyone was really truly suffering from hair loss, and I don't say truly suffering, but I'm saying like, some people say, oh, my hairs won't grow. And it's not that their hair is not growing, it's that they're not retaining any length, which are two separate things. But I said, if your hair is truly not growing, there's something internally wrong. So you should go get a blood test. And um, the fact of the matter is a lot of doctors, like, again, they don't they don't care. And like I said, our, our skin and our nails are the last things that your body gives to. It's going to give to your internal organs first. So if your hair is breaking off like or your hair is not growing, it could be from an internal issue. Like your hair is the last thing that means your internal organs are not working properly. So like make your doctors get that. But like I need a blood test and I need to know the results. Send me the lab results. I need to see it with my own eyes, you know, um, because, yes, it can cause severe um, hair loss in your hair and scalp. Monique says, how often should you oil your scalp? Um, that's going to depend on you and how oily your scalp currently gets and currently is. Some people have a lot of excess sebum. Um, I try to do mine at least uh, twice a week and then focus the rest of the time on massaging my scalp. So, you know, um, massaging can be as beneficial as actually whatever you're putting topically on your hair. Um, it helps to uh, cause blood circulation and blood flow and nutrients to come to the actual hair follicle. So giving yourself a good massage actually helps to encourage hair growth. So um, yes, I'll oil it as often as needed. Um, if your hair is very dry, I would recommend like that spray first and then putting the oil on. Uh, starting out with like maybe three times a week and seeing how your hair responds to it. Um, if it's too oily by the end of the week, try twice a week. Uh, Rose says, I got him to refer me to a dermatologist and got all my blood test results from them. I will forward them to my black trichologist. Oh, I scrolled up <laughs> to discuss with me. Good, good, Rose. Good, good, good. I'm glad you did that. I'm glad. Uh, I just clicked on the link you provided, but I can't see the calendar. And even yesterday, I tried to locate it, but no success. Okay, Jacka, I will, um, can you email me at at this? I'll just download the calendar and send it to you later. Um, I'm putting my email in the chat, so you can just email me, and I will send it. <sighs> Why can't you use vitamin C topically with MSN when you have hair dye? I'm actually not sure. I actually haven't heard that, but um, I can look it up. I really don't know why. Faith Amani. Oh, wait, wait. I skipped them some. Out of Order says, amazing. Thank you. Guar gum and water only. Yes. Guar gum is, <laughs> yes, yes. You can use, like I said, the acai gum and xanthan gum and water. It will make a nice, a very nice gel for your hair. Um, Faith Amani, thank you. Let's pray for the sister to get some help. It was a teachable moment. We all need to embrace our natural, beautiful hairs. Yes, yes, it was. Teslin Morris, my daughter has high prosty hair and they break easily from the root mostly. What herb can I use to strengthen her hair? She's breaking from the root. Is it in one location like here? If it is, I'm gonna tell you, take your doctor, take your daughter to get a blood test. But some herbs you can do for that is alma powder, um, brahmi powder, and burdock root. Those are really great. Fenugreek powder too. Fenugreek. Oh, you can stand the smell, you know. Don't let faith and money uh convince you otherwise. <laughs> But um, yeah, find out why her hair is breaking from, from the root can mean, a, you know, could be something else going on, either a vitamin deficiency or something else going on. Um, Bailey Boy says, love your oil. Thank you so much. Code Black 25, Black 25. <laughs> Does anyone find fasting causes hair loss? Hmm. I don't ever fast, so I really can't speak to that, but... What I can say is if you're fasting and not getting proper nu nutrients when you're eating again, it could cause hair loss. It just is, what could happen is that you're you're uh, not getting enough nutrients, right? So fasting can be great. I know fasting has a lot, a lot of good benefits. I don't really fast, but it does have a lot of good benefits. But when you eat again, you have to make sure you're getting enough nutrients for your body to live and thrive on. So maybe you should you know, think about your diet in general overall. Um, but I don't, I've not really heard about fasting cause hair loss, but I don't, I don't know much about that. Ash Moni said, how long will your glass bars last in the refrigerator before use? Can they be frozen? Yes, you can freeze them. Um, I, there's not any oil. I mean, there's not any waters in them. They're just oils and, um, herbs. 
So they probably can last a couple months, but I would just recommend freezing them if you're not going to use them within the next like week or two. Um, just freeze them just in case there's, you know, some type of condensation that gets on it. But again, they're just oils and, and herbs. There's no water. So it really should last, you know, quite some time, but preserve it longer by freezing them. Victory began. The, there was a good radio program at NPR, the People's Pharmacy, about vitamin D deficiency. Yeah. What was said, um, Victory, what was said about that? Um, about people with vitamin D deficiency. Like I said, there's so many other, <laughs> we always talk about hair loss because that's, that's an outward sign of it, but there's so many other issues that we get distracted, like that are, are really going on internally with us. They're just shown sometimes in our hair and our skin and, or that's how we notice it in our hair and skin, but there's actually a bigger internal issue going on. Uh, Patience says, I think she used that glue to get a lot of views on her platform. She just got more than she can handle. People stop doing stupid things in the name of money. Uh, Patience, I really hope she didn't do that. I mean, I feel like she is right now taking advantage of the, the, you know, the use of blowing up her platform. But at what cost? At what cost? All in the name of fame? For what? At what cost? That's a big cost because she might not ever be able to grow hair out of her hair again, out of her scalp again. Uh, Jack, uh, for me, I think it's not growing because I have PCOS, specifically the front is thinning. Oh yeah. PCOS can definitely cause thinning hair. Um, are you working with your doctor to, to fight PCOS? Do you know any natural herbalists in your area? There's a lot of herbs that you can use to help fight, uh, I don't want to say help fight PCOS, but help to regulate your hormones and stuff. Um, there's, there's a lot, um, but definitely if you have any like natural herbalists in your area uh, or homeopathic doctors, they can really work with you. I won't say all medical doctors, not a lot of medical doctors really deal with that as a, a separate issue, but I really think that's so important to address. Um, and it might be a lot of diet changes they probably recommend and, and other herbs you can take. She said, no, I don't know anyone. My doctor's not doing a thing about it. Yeah. Um, you just email me. I'll, I can send you some information on some herbs you might can take with P to help fight PCOS, um, to help get your hormones in balance, like maca root. I have, I have some herbs I can recommend for you. Um, Bailey Boy says, thanks. I got a full panel done and all levels are perfect except vitamin D. Hair doing good but over time, sure, it could impact. Now that I know I'll be addressing brings, I... Uh, addressing and bring that D level up. Yep. Yep. Um, my oil and my scalp the last two days before wash day on the second day I do the baggy method. That's good. That's good. Okay. Yes, you're speaking the truth. That happened to me. I had to go to the doctor three times before they even thought about giving me a vitamin D test. Yes. Yeah. It's unfortunate that doctors really don't, don't really care about, I, I would say in particular black women and black women's health, or take our concern seriously when you say there's an issue or you want a certain test, like you really have to demand it and force it so that we can get, you know, the proper health and nutrition and everything needed so we can function and live and survive and not just grow our hair, but, you know, grow our hair too, right? Uh, <laughs> says, how are you? I'm your biggest fan. Well, thank you. I'm doing well today. Excited to be chatting with you guys. Um, Yolanda, when you're making a tea rinse, can you reuse those same herbs for another use? Um, yes. If you let them dry out again and then, um, use them again, they're not going to be as potent as, you know, like the first time you use something, it's the most potent. And if you use it again, it's less and less each time. Now I don't know anyone. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I just emailed. Okay. Faith Amani. I don't know if it's just me, but it feels like when you tell a doctor I have an issue, they all look at me as though I'm crazy. Yeah, because a lot of doctors don't believe black women and they don't believe, like I said, like they don't believe that we have pain. They don't believe that we can suffer or anything. And so I think it's, it's really hard. And I think it's like important to have a black doctor. To, it's important to have somebody who, or even if you don't find a black doctor and I get it, not every area can you find a, a good black doctor, but um, find somebody who's listen who listens to your concern and like, Here's what you're saying, and is it takes action on it, and it made me go into another doctor. Like I said last week, like um, I have to, I have to seriously consider switching um, my GYN because 
again, for her to act like my fibroids were nothing and then, you know, oh, that's just all some all black women have, like, you're fine. And I'm like, but I'm suffering and I'm in pain, right? Am I really fine? And so it's like, it's sad that my pain and my stuff is is just normal for black women or it's not looked at as something that should be taken seriously or questioned or anything. Um, so it's really unfortunate. So, you know, try to find somebody who does care. And if that means switching doctors, and I, I hate switching doctors. I hate, I just want to go one time and just be a good doctor and do what's good for you. Like do what's best for me and, and actually care about me and hear what I'm saying. And if not, like, I really have to just stay on top of it. Like I have to get my blood test. I have to get these things. I have like, and run the, you know, we have a portal where we can put all that information goes into a portal. So even after I get the test, it goes um, into a portal so I can read about it. Okay. Let me, um, Cheryl says, how did you use the MSM? So right now, Cheryl, we're using the MSM internally and externally. So we're using it. Um, right now, we're taking one eighth of a teaspoon of this MSM powder um, with vitamin C in either a water or a smoothie or a tea. We're drinking that every day. And then we're taking MSM powder in either an oil, a spray, a hair mask. Maybe you add it to your shampoo. Um, use it twice a week in your hair. I have the video of all the details of it um, in the video in the description box is the calendar. You can click the link and um, get the calendar of how to increase it every week while we do this. This is an eight-week hair growth challenge, okay? So let me post that there for you. Um, the NPR was talking about how people with low vitamin D are more likely to get COVID as well as a researcher on the program. Said to take 10,000 IUs, which is more than what is recommended. Oh, that's really interesting. Um, I did hear about the connection between um, COVID and vitamin D deficiency, which is very interesting because they claim most Black people um, have low vitamin D. Um, hmm. I'm, I'm going to keep my thoughts to myself right now. <laughs> okay. Um, she says, oh, my God, I have a sister. Okay. Not good. So she removed it. Great. Uh, I use my spent herbs in a in a smoothie. Oh, like a, a smoothie that you you eat or um, sweet lady. I'm talking to you. Uh, so there's not just you. How did you use the MSN, honey? Okay. Do you know how much MSN will cause buildup taken internally? So right now we're take we're starting off slow, honey. <laughs> Her name's Honey, and I'm not calling her Honey. <laughs> um, so right now we're just taking, we started out taking this one eighth of a teaspoon um, every other day and drinking 64 ounces of water and taking our vitamin C with it. And then the following week, we, we upped it to one eighth of a teaspoon every day, again, taking 64 ounces. So we're in week three and we're still taking one eighth of a teaspoon. Some people are moving up. I'm not. I'm trying to make sure that I'm getting a good and healthy level to until I move up. But it really was about making sure you get enough vitamin C and enough water with this. And we're saying taking a minimum of 64 ounces every day. Um, so, and it will build up in your system eventually, which is why you start off slowly, which is why we're not taking a full teaspoon. Um, so yes. So Momtastic TV says, hello. Hello, dear. Um, Faith says, do you have a support group for women? No, but I really, I... I was really thinking about doing something, um, some type of support or something because there's so many of us out here suffering and it's, it's sad <laughs> and it shouldn't be that way. And literally just telling somebody, like so many people have messaged me and said in their first chat, you told us to, to go to my doctor. And I found out that I have X, Y, and Z. And they're like, I would never have gone, you know, or would have never forced them to give me a blood test. And now I know like this is, I have other things, like people are, like I said, we we're talking about hair, but other people actually have symptoms that are impacting their life, like <laughs> real life health implications. And, and so I always say like, um, outside of hair growth, like I'm all about just as women, the whole holistic approach and helping other women, even if it's just saying, go to your doctor, like having that support for that, just something as simple as that, or not allowing a doctor to just minimalize your issues or health or whatever. Um, you know, just as a place for encouragement for one another to, to take care of our health and to ask the questions or 
to demand treatment. <laughs> you know, it's it's something I'm definitely you know thinking about. Victory says, "Yes, I keep my paperwork and and print it up and bring it to the new doctor." I also keep a symptom log with questions written down just in case I forget where I'm at, why I'm there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's really, really good. I haven't thought about that to keep a, a, a log of the symptoms that you experience. That's good. Honey, I've been taking MSN for a year now, but was reading it could cause buildup. I still take it. Um, what are you, are you take, honey, how much are you taking every, um, how much are you taking every day? Um, are you taking it for hair growth or are you taking it for other issues? Because we know that it has other anti-inflammatory issues. P. Jones says that, yeah, at what cost is right. There's always a cost. Sweet lady, yes. After I make my herbs for tea, I throw in the herbs and mix it in my Vitamix with, and with my smoothie. Oh, ooh, that sounds really good. Honey, when they say build up, I'm confused. Do they mean MSN that's not absorbed like extra? I take an eighth as well. Take it for pro health. Hmm. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not hundred percent sure what they say when they when you mean build up. Like I, like again, I said like I know, like your body can utilize the MSN or usually pee it out. Um, who I would ask, I would ask um, your doctor what he's mean what he means by that, or where you were reading. Can you send me the article you were reading about it? I would love to read. You know me. I I love to read. I'll read it all. <laughs> Um, taking it for pro hot. One eighth is one scoop. Yes. So the little scooper in here is one eighth. And I said, just per my research. Oh, I would, I would love to, I would love to read and, and research some more about it. Um, yeah, let me know. My email is now I am nappy at gmail.com. Okay. Vivian, so many doctors trivialize what black women go through. It had to fight to be tested for vitamin D levels. Come to think of it, it was so deficient, and now I take D three fifty K. I was like, oh, that oh, that's crazy. That's crazy, Vivian. Um, if I were to do a support group, would you guys want it on like Facebook? Like, where would you want the support group to be at? If Hard to create one out of curiosity. <laughs> um, you said I'm taking. I'm taking. Start taking Amazon in December. I take uh 500 milligrams one pill per day. Should I take two? Directions say up to six per day. Yikes. Um. Since if you've been taking it since December, you can increase more. We're taking um, three grams. Uh, no, we're taking one gram. I'm lying. We're taking one gram. So if you at least double it up, you're taking at least one gram a day. So you can take two pills. You can start taking two pills and see how it is. Make sure you drink your water and vitamin C, as you know. So yeah, that's fine. Uh, you can slowly increase. You can slowly increase to six a day eventually. So that's fine. Um, so honey says YouTube. So you would prefer, you would prefer a support group on YouTube. Okay. So it says on Instagram, on YouTube, Vivian, you are not alone. So how's Breton? Okay. Not a big fan of Facebook, but if you did, so there I would join. Okay. Wherever the support is, I will be there. Okay. I got to figure out how it, how it would do it. So you prefer YouTube because we can chit chat. I want a place though that like, like YouTube is fine, but then I feel like I'm talking all the time. <laughs> uh, I want a place that you guys can also feel like you can share, even out if I'm not like online, you know what I mean? Oh, you could, you could go back and review the video. Maybe I'll do some, I'll do some polls um, and see. Or maybe, I, maybe, look, maybe we just started on, on, um, on YouTube and see how it goes, right? See how it goes. If, it, if you guys feel like you want a, a place to really like, you know, 
really have a conversation or maybe you you know we don't always want other people you know popping in <laughs> um uh, you know sometimes men come in here and they're just or not even men I just say spammers come in here and they're just spamming what might be a private conversation uh, we'll talk we can talk about it. we can discuss it some more like it doesn't have to be something hashed out exactly at this moment I only do YouTube I don't have time for a lot of social media zooms are good oh zoom Okay. Many doctors stop learning the day they graduate and are not abreast of changes in treatments, methods, and so on. So it's easier to blame the patient or mark them off as nuts. Yeah. Could you simultaneous live from different platforms? Uh, I'm sure, I'm sure you could. I, I'd have to look into it. I'm trying to think. Cause I could I could technically set up. So I'm on my my MacBook here. I could set up my tablet and maybe my phone, or actually get another like camera. Maybe there's like a Streamyard. I think there's Streamyard. I don't know. If I could be logged in. I have to look it up. I don't know enough. I you know I'm I'm a little. I'm a little slow with technology, but I can figure it out. Like I'm one if I do enough research, I can figure out how to do it. I'm pretty sure I can do that. I'm pretty sure it's possible. But yeah, um, P. Jones, I mean it, it's really a, it really is unfortunate that, you know, just the day and age that we're in and um there's so many things going wrong <laughs> with with the, our healthcare system. If the doctors are in academia, they are supposed to be continually learning as part of their contract. They are supposed to be. They are. Um, hello, I'm new to taking Emerson the brand. I'm taking his amazing formulas. I take one pill a day. I just purchased Doctor's Best, looking to learn the product so that it works for me. Okay, wonderful. So um, we're taking, you know, the, I'm using Doctor's Best too. Um, we're starting out with one eighth of a teaspoon every day. And one eighth is the little scoop. A little scoop size here is one eighth. So that's it. Um, if you have the calendar that I put in the video from the Emerson Hair Grow Challenge, you'll see where we're at in the in the week, and then you could increase it as we increase during the challenge as well. So next week we'll be adding another um, one eighth of a teaspoon to our regimen every other day as we slowly introduce more into our bodies. Did you? Emerson basically is sulfur powder. It's, um, what is the formal name? It's like methyl sulfonyl methane. Um, it's basically the sulfur and sulfur is, it's the component in our hair. It actually, our hair is held together by sulfur bonds, right? Double sulfur bonds. Um, so the Emerson actually helps to um, encourage stronger hair growth longer hair growth. It actually helps to extend the hair growth cycle, the antigen phase. Um, so people are able to grow longer hair than usual. Um, additionally, we're taking it internally as, ex as well as externally. This baby right here is has a lot of anti-inflammatory properties. So you'll notice like reduced in pain, um, inflammation, arthritis pain, joint pain. Uh, some people experience, me too, less cramps um, around that time of the month. Um, a lot, a lot of benefits. So that's what we're, we're taking. That's the challenges to help grow our hair faster. But, you know, there are also benefits to this um, internally as well. If you want all of the details of the video of the, cha of the challenge, I have a video on it. Um, this is our week three check-in. Just making sure everybody's, you know, drinking their water, seeing if they have any questions or anything. Orange juice is good. Orange juice is perfect. Anything with vitamin C to mix your um, anything to mix your vitamin C with with MSN is good. <laughs> Sorry, I was and I'm thinking and I'm reading at the same time. <laughs> I lose my train of thought. Uh, show twelve forty. The link between vitamin D and COVID nineteen. Yeah. Um, yes, there is. Are there are herbs with sulfur like almond and brownie? I don't remember the specific one. Yes, I talked about it in a video. What video was I? Um, 
episode. I talked about it in a video, but I will, I will, I will, what video was that? I will let you know for sure what videos, uh, what herbs contain sulfur. And maybe I'll include that. Maybe I'll include that in uh, for Tip Tuesday. Actually, that I'll do. Um, for this Tip Tuesday, I'm actually going to be talking about vitamins and stuff that you that I take for like hair loss. And, and I'm going to obviously mention the MSM powder. But in that, I'll also include some herbs that contain sulfur as well. I'll just add that in there since we're going to be talking about stuff that you can consume. Okay. I'm gonna just write, I'm gonna write that down real quick. Herbs that have sulfur. I take MSM moringa powder and collagen with water or smoothie in the mornings. And Vivian, that's per that's actually perfect. Perfect. I usually take smoothies or I drink tea. Um, today, usually, usually when I'm on the chat with you guys, I usually just drink it in water just because. But it's totally a preference, like whatever you prefer to do it, whatever's easiest, whatever tastes best for you, however you like to take it, take it. Cause that's when you're going to be most consistent. Don't take it how I'm taking it just because I'm taking it that way. Cause you may hate the way it tastes like that. So do it how you like. Um, P. Jones says, I'm not on Facebook. So YouTube would be great. Okay. All right. It might be like a YouTube, maybe a Zoom. So, you know, we all can have an opportunity to, to chat, like chat, talk it up. So do you guys drink it? And where can I get this? I am in the Netherlands. Um, usually, we got ours on Amazon, but you can get, we have like vitamin health food stores, Gertrude. Um, I'm not sure in the Netherlands um, if you guys have some type of vitamin stores, but we they sell this at the vitamin store there. The brand I'm using is Doctor's Best. Sorry, I don't know how the camera is weird. Um, but, um, uh, I got it from Amazon, but you can get it from another place, a number of places. Um, Patrice has this brand called Crazy Vibrant Dreams. So far, no, but again, like I'm taking it in the right recommended dose and slowly and I'm drinking water and vitamin C. So I haven't had any crazy dreams. I said one, I had one crazy dream. It wasn't vibrant. I mean, it wasn't like wild. But it was like uh, a weird dream I had in the first week, but that was it. I haven't had any dreams. Uh, I couldn't tell the camera you saw email. You. Yeah, just email me. Email me. Yes, YouTube, please. Can we zoom it, or is that too big? Um, I'll see. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. You know what I mean? Like I, I'll see. Uh, I'll see how much interest there is, and that will also determine. I do have a I do have a Zoom page Zoom account through my job, so I can host a pretty big meeting. Uh, I don't know what size I can fully host to, but I'll I'll see uh, what I could do. What type of B twelve do you take? I actually take a um a gummy B twelve. It's actually a uh, hair, skin, and nails. So you actually find out. I'll just say this: you'll find out in uh, this week's Tip Tuesday because I'm going to talk about all the the vitamins and herbs that I'm taking internally um, for each cause and for each thing. So you'll you'll find out very soon <laughs> for Tip Tuesday. But yeah, you're going to get about like all the iron supplements, uh, hair, skin, and nails, or whatever it is I'm taking with the MSM, whatever herbs I'm taking for whatever, for particular reasons. So I'll let you know, like, I'm taking this for this particular reason or whatever, broken down so you guys have an idea. Because I get this question, a lot of you, y'all have been asking, it was recommended for me to do this, so I'm going to do that for y'all. I hope you guys enjoy that video. All right. All right, all right. I'm going to make sure I didn't miss anything. Um, if you guys don't have any more questions, I am going to sign off. <laughs> I really enjoyed chatting with you guys. Let's see. Oh, Gertrude says, did you take, do you take iron and does it grow your hair? Um, yes, I do take iron because I uh, have iron anemia deficiency. So it does, uh, it grows my hair only in the sense that when I don't take it, my hair breaks off because I have anemia. But um, yeah. I just gave in. I placed an order. 
<laughs> Thank you, sis, for supporting me. <laughs> Our allergies like sneezing a part of the possible side effects of taking. Hmm. I I don't think so. I've never heard of that, but no, I don't know. I've never heard of anyone having allergies because of MSM. You only need some vitamins if you have actual deficiency. Yeah, yeah, you're right, Tiffany, which is why I said there's particular reasons why I take stuff, certain reasons why I take it, but yes. Thanks for everything. Yes, we'll see you again next week, next Sunday. We'll get, you know what, I'll make this, it'll be like innocent in the beginning and in the second part we can talk about women's health or whatever we want to talk about, okay? And, and then uh, maybe we can figure out a little bit more permanent like space for us women to have, you know, chit chat about our health, or whatever it is we want to talk about, okay? Because sometimes we just want to talk about things and you can have a little space for it, a support group for it. We want to complain, we want to vent. Um, that's fine. So we'll talk about that more next week, ladies. Okay. I would appreciate a space. Okay. This is great. I love how this has turned into something completely one, uh, something else. So thank you, ladies. Thank you, ladies. Um, if you have any other questions, just DM me on Instagram or whatever, and you know, I'll get back to you or email me. I'll definitely get back to you guys. Okay. Have a good rest of the day. Uh, Vivian, can you message me on Instagram and we can chit chat a little bit more? You're welcome, ladies. Have a good one. Bye, Octavia. <laughs>